Every serious gardener has a hidden ally in the most unexpected place, the fireplace. That grey, powdery residue most people sweep away without a thought is actually one of the most powerful natural soil enhancers you'll ever find. I'm talking about wood ash, a nutrient-packed, alkalizing, mineral-rich material that's been quietly used by traditional gardeners for centuries to boost soil health, restore fertility, and ignite biological activity. If you've got a wood stove, fire pit, or even an occasional bonfire, you're sitting on a gold mine your garden desperately wants you to use. Why wood ash is more than just burnt dust? When wood burns completely, what's left behind is the pure mineral essence of that wood. Those ashes contain calcium, potassium, magnesium, and trace elements like zinc, iron, and manganese, all essential nutrients for plant growth. Think of it as a condensed form of what trees pulled from the soil over years of growth. By adding that back to your garden, you're essentially returning those minerals full circle. But unlike chemical fertilizers that feed plants directly, wood ash feeds the soil ecosystem, helping beneficial microbes thrive and balance the pH naturally. The magic of wood ash lies in its alkalinity. It's rich in calcium carbonate, the same compound found in agricultural lime. That means it can raise soil pH, neutralize acidity, and make nutrients more available to plants. For soils that are too acidic, common in regions with heavy rainfall, this is a game changer. When soil becomes too acidic, biological activity slows down, earthworms retreat, and nutrient uptake plummets. A dusting of wood ash reawakens that microbial life, allowing the soil food web to flourish again. How to know if your garden actually needs wood ash? Before grabbing a shovel and scattering ash everywhere, you need to understand your soil. Wood ash is best suited for slightly acidic soils, generally with a pH between 5.0 and 6.5. If your soil is already neutral or alkaline, adding ash could push it too far, locking up nutrients instead of releasing them. A simple soil pH test, either a home kit or a test strip, will tell you what you need to know. If your soil is below 6.5, wood ash can be your secret weapon. For most home gardens, the right ratio is about one cup of wood ash per square meter, which is roughly 10 square feet, applied lightly and evenly. More is not better here. Too much ash can overwhelm the soil chemistry. Think of it as a supplement, not a fertilizer dump. Apply it gradually over the season, especially before planting or when preparing new beds. So, how do you prepare and apply wood ash properly? Only use ash from untreated natural wood. No charcoal briquettes, painted boards or fire logs. These can contain toxins, heavy metals and chemicals you don't want anywhere near your soil. Once your ashes are completely cool, sift them through a fine mesh or screen to remove nails, large charcoal pieces or debris. Store them in a metal bucket with a lid to keep moisture out until you're ready to use them. For garden beds, lightly sprinkle the ash over the surface and work it into the top few inches of soil using a rake or hoe. Mixing ensures even distribution and prevents surface runoff. If you're adding it to a compost pile, mix one cup of ash for every cubic foot of organic material. This helps balance acidity from materials like fruit scraps or coffee grounds. Ash in compost not only adds minerals, but also helps neutralize odor and deter pests. 
For potted plants or raised beds, be even gentler. Just a tablespoon per gallon of soil is plenty. If you're using worm bins or vermicomposting, a pinch of wood ash per week will help control acidity and improve worm health without disrupting the ecosystem. The quick chemistry behind wood ash and living soil. When wood ash meets moisture, it releases potassium and calcium ions that quickly dissolve into the soil solution. These nutrients strengthen cell walls, improve disease resistance, and encourage root development. But more importantly, the pH shift allows previously trapped nutrients, like phosphorus and magnesium, to become available again. That's why, within weeks of applying wood ash, gardeners often notice more vigorous plant growth, deeper green leaves, and stronger stems. The alkalinity also creates the perfect conditions for soil microbes and fungi to thrive. Beneficial bacteria that fix nitrogen, decompose organic matter and protect roots from pathogens prefer slightly alkaline conditions. In acidic soils, they go dormant, but after a touch of ash, they wake up and get to work. That's what makes soil go crazy with life. You're not just feeding plants, you're activating the entire living network that supports them. Pairing wood ash with organic matter, well, it really helps to keep things balanced in the garden. While wood ash is quite powerful, it honestly works best when you combine it with compost or some other organic material. You see, organic matter buffers the pH and provides the carbon that microbes need to keep the whole system ticking along nicely. One of the most effective combinations I've ever used, actually, is a half-and-half -half mix of finished compost and sifted wood ash. Just spread this blend as a top dressing around your fruit trees, berry bushes or vegetable beds before the rain comes or before you irrigate. The moisture helps carry those minerals right into the root zone, and the compost holds them there, which is just brilliant. For heavy feeders, like tomatoes, peppers or brassicas, a small scoop of that mix worked into the planting hole gives them a nutrient boost that lasts for weeks. The calcium in there helps prevent blossom end rot, and the potassium well, that supports flowering and fruiting. The results? Sturdier plants with much stronger immune systems. No chemical fertilizers needed at all. How often should you apply wood ash? Well, in most gardens, once or twice a year is plenty. Apply in late winter or early spring before planting, and again in late summer if needed. It's best to avoid applying during active growing periods when plants are sensitive to sudden pH shifts. And, you know, never mix wood ash directly with nitrogen fertilizers like manure or urea. This can release ammonia gas and waste both nutrients. Always give at least two weeks between applications if you're using both. If you compost regularly and maintain good organic matter levels, wood ash acts as a gentle natural buffer, keeping soil chemistry balanced without disrupting the biological rhythms underground. Over time, you'll notice your soil stays looser, earthworms multiply, and your garden develops that sweet, earthy smell that signals true fertility. The humble fireplace may actually hold the key to your best soil yet. What most people see as waste, gardeners can see as potential. Wood ash is proof that the best soil enhancers don't come in bags or bottles. They're already part of your daily life. Used with knowledge and care, this grey dust can spark a biological revolution in your garden, bringing your soil back to life faster than any store-bought product ever could. 
So, next time you clean out your fireplace, don't just toss that ash. Store it, respect it, and use it wisely. Your garden will reward you with stronger plants, richer soil, and the satisfaction of knowing you've closed one more loop in the cycle of natural abundance. If this guide helped you rediscover the hidden gold in your fireplace, subscribe to Gentle Herb Living and share this with a gardener who needs to hear it. Let's keep bringing life back to the soil, one handful at a time.